some stitches. Let's see. Okay, good. It's nobody I've ever seen before or heard about. Let's see. You are a kit. Oh, hello. I hope it's all right that I came to set up camp here. I've heard rumors about how lovely your town is, and I've been craving fresh peach juice. I'm certainly going to enjoy the time I spent here. I hope we can get to know each other. I might come back and never told me they were moving because we actually had somebody new move in. Kids. I gotta say, the kangaroos in Animal Crossing are among my favorites. Look at the little one right there. Yeah, her face mirrors it, like it has the same expressions and everything. Look at that. Isn't that just the most adorable thing? It just. Uh, it's a shame you can't really have, like. Seriously, I'm so happy I have a kangaroo. Oh, I want you to uh, look at. Okay, I want to bring some attention to it. Okay, let's talk to her really quick because we haven't really like seen her uh, as of late. I haven't really given her a whole lot of screen time. Hard to tell much of the costume you're sure it's before you are getting a rumor best looking to yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, you can't really see it. I don't know what she looks like from this angle. Her eyes are so creepy when you see her facing away from the camera. It's just, ugh, her palette. I like to imagine a certain name for uh, her little kid there. I like to imagine them as Kit and Caboodle. <laughs> I can't help it. Rather than standing around here chatting, why don't we go hang out at my house? Uh, we'll something special that I'd love to have you over. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, okay, good. She wants me to go over immediately. I hate that when animals are like, hey, like, oh, wait, what? Bang, let's talk. What's up? Would you like better spaghetti or old-fashioned mac and cheese? Uh, I like spaghetti a lot. You're a mac person, huh? Good. Uh, actually, I'm a PC person, but that's just me. Mac is perfection. Wow, uh, wow, this guy was really a big fan of mac. Oh, okay, in all seriousness. I know, I just like, when you see that in a context, it just kind of looks like they're talking about computers or something. Let's go in. Well, here we are. Just give me a moment to unlock the door. That was an expensive-looking unlock animation. What do you mean, nothing fancy? You have like a grand piano, this regal dresser right here, this classic sofa. Where are your stairs? You have arched windows and everything. Um, you know, for being a kangaroo, you live a really interesting life, I gotta say. Uh, no, I didn't mean it's different in a bad way, I meant it's different in a good way. Um, you can listen to Cake and Corral on your turntable? This is a fancy place. I mean, you got like the little balloon animal man, on the table, but I just kind of assumed that was something for the, you know, because you kind of need something for the nursery. Uh, yeah, I want to tell you, your house is great. Hearing that makes me so happy, child. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm really glad that they're not like, oh, you don't have to say that, my house sucks, you know, you don't have to like pet it. And looks like our last one is Kit. Alright. Uh, we're gonna say you can't have any. I actually kind of want to show what these pranks are, but you know, I'm not just going to lose on purpose. Alright, what is the game? The prank, are you ready? So rock, paper, scissors. Alright, so I do have a legitimate shot at losing this. Let's see. Rock. Paper. Alright, I get to show what happens when you lose. Yay, I win! It's fun to play against a worthy opponent. Ah, I didn't know I was a good rock, paper, scissors champion. Penalty for losing is... Take that! She has taken my clothing and turned them into rags. Um, that was advice. We have a lot more fun today if we go and talk to Jack. Okay. Well, as you can see, I don't have that shirt anymore. I just have the bubble tank for Pietra. Uh, if I switch this off, you can see that it is called the patch shirt. You don't want to be wearing anything on a Halloween that you aren't prepared to lose. Got a bench. Uh, first animal today. Oh wait, Kit. Um, you want to talk to me? Hi, Neil. I need to talk to you, child. Well, I borrowed something from a while ago and never returned it. Is this really what you're going to talk to me in? Um, uh, kids, really? On my last day in town, you were going to make me go be your errand boy, and you went out of your way to talk to me to do it. Okay. Really appreciate it you can do it deliver some kind of day. Okay. Let's have an actual conversation with you, because I kind of like to have that before I go. Sometimes sitting at our town's yellow bench library helps me concentrate. Especially book called To Catch a Bug Without Once Getting Distracted. Um, okay, it doesn't really sound like the longest book in the world, but hey, I'm still proud of you. Um, people do need to read more, myself included. Um, find it. <laughs> no! Okay, fine, if you just want to sell me stuff, then maybe we're not really that good of friends after all. You there! Hello, Kit. Oh, it's you, Emil. I've been so lonely without you. Aw, Caboodle didn't keep you company. He also didn't really grow much since we last saw him. Aww. Well, what have you got to say to us for the first time in a long time? Pietro was talking to me about how to keep a butterfly as a pet, and now I want one too. I'm 
sorry, that's just really cute. I remember catching caterpillars and raising them into the butterflies and like feeding them leaves and stuff as a kid, so I, I, I like that a lot. It's that she has another kid! That's right! Oh my god, I forgot! No! I... I... I didn't get you a butterfly yesterday because it was too late and then... I was just skimming through those birthday invitations because I just kind of assumed they were from years past. I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Pietro, what do you have to say? Yeah, um... Okay, um... Also... Uh, oddly applicable that you're a clown and you're going to a birthday party where there's like a kid though, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Well, I wasn't wrong that I was an idiot, but... <sighs> what do I have? It's a mercy gift. I'm so sorry. But here, I have a big old basket of bamboo shoots with, with me. They're the last bamboo shoots in all of Palette. Feed them be your kid because they're growing. Thank you for this lovely gift. Oh my gosh, their kid really is eating them. His head is, their head is inside of the basket. <laughs> I'm so happy about my cake and my presents. I'll be writing all of that today in my diary. I'm glad you like them. I feel like scum. Ugh. But I was saying that I am an idiot. It's not that Caboodle never grew up over the last few years. It's that she had another kid after Caboodle grew up and left the house. So I hereby dub her new daughter, Bertha. We will now be on our way. Don't let me leave the birthday party. Heading home already? Okay, well thank you for coming over today. It was really nice of you to give me a present too. Take care. If you're wondering about the town initiatives and how um, one of them involved talking to animals and yet I did that off screen and didn't show any of the conversations, during fishing tourneys, Kid Hero will demonstrate. The animals that are out and about just talk about how they're fishing and don't have much meaningful to say. Damn it, I'm just too damn good! I'm trying to lose and I can't do it. I guess my quad goggles were too much. 3.45 inches is what you had to catch to get third? Did Pietro catch an amoeba or something like that? There were five people competing in this! So, what was second place? Three po- You guys suck at fishing! Holy wow! All it takes is longer than three and a half inches to win this contest. I couldn't lose that if I tried. So close, yet so far from 25.8 inches. Yes, Crook, you were so close. The competition only did well enough to beat you eight times. Could you imagine, like, this tent would probably explode and launch everybody about 50 feet in every direction if I caught a shark with was just being as long and submitted it. Just... <laughs> and the thing that I was a little bit eh about the fact that I didn't fish in advance. What? Kit wanted to stop and talk to me. Hello, Kit. You know where Krista would happen to be? Would I like to try out what flowers are reflecting my personality? So of all falling flowers, which is your favorite? Well, that was a disappointing quiz. It was a hard choice, but I think I'm gonna go with Daisy. Very interesting. Daisy signify innocent. <laughs> okay, inside jokes. You might not understand why that's funny, but I'm sure if you dig hard enough, you can find it. You must be pretty optimistic, Emil. What do you think? I bet you didn't know kind of I was gonna tell all that. <laughs> oh, it's Rococo! <laughs> Insensitive much! Insensitive much! You must have really beaten this 
thing up really bad if you want me to take the front for it, even though she's right here. I agree, it's good picnic weather. I like this temperature. I wish it could be like this year round. What is it? Clothes. It's the Raglan tea that my eye on. Oh! She looks really cute in that, at least from the back. I can't tell what it looks like from the front. Alright, fine. I'll just take whatever you had on you. Complete with the cutout for the baby in the pouch. I didn't mean to talk to you, Cookie. Yeah, but it's totally me. Jack. Word is you're ready to catch a fish on this tree. I heard that the barbel steed is the next big thing in aquatic decor. <laughs> you gotta have one. Just thought of an idea that would make Palette an even better place to live. I call it the Flower Bed Construction Initiative! Not, not that it's an official initiative or anything. I'm just hoping you'll consider a flower bed for the next public works project. I'll register with Isabel while you think about it. 